All right, so as a lot of you know, I love working in SketchUp. You don't make over a thousand videos teaching people how to use a program if you don't like working in the program. So I'm a big SketchUp fan, but I do think there are some changes and adjustments they can make to the program to make it even better moving forward. So I thought we could make a video talking about my top 10 features that I think could be added to SketchUp in order to make it a more competitive program. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, when I make a video like this, this is not me trying to trash SketchUp. This is also not an invitation to trash SketchUp in the comments down below. This is more of a discussion of, based on what the program's vision is or what it could be, what are some things that we can add in order to make the program even better? So I totally welcome that discussion in the comments down below. Just know that when we're talking about this, just because you want something doesn't necessarily mean that it fits in with the vision that SketchUp SketchUp has as a program overall. So civil discussion in the comments down below, totally welcome. Um, so one thing that we do need to talk about just a little bit is what SketchUp's vision is, right? Because SketchUp's always been kind of targeting being more of the easy to use, um, easy to pick up software for 3D modeling. That's where it started back in the very beginning as kind of an answer to a lot of the overly complicated programs. Um, so I teach multiple different 3D modeling programs like Rhino and Blue Blender and Fusion 360, as well as some Unreal Engine and some Unity. I can link to all those channels in the notes down below. But out of all of them, SketchUp is still easily the easiest one to pick up and start modeling in and to learn. I think that as an organization, SketchUp is going to want to keep that, which I totally understand. And we can even see what their thought process is in this blog post from Tommy, who's a SketchUp team member. And this is from years ago. This is from 2016, but he basically sums up what SketchUp's goal is is whenever they look at new features and things like that. So um, he notes that when they first started or first created SketchUp, the goal was to have a simple tool set where you could access all the tools from the home screen and to use modifier keys to make those tools more powerful. Um, and he noted that SketchUp was kind of uh, created as a response to a lot of the other applications that were adding features over and over again and making them cumbersome and complicated. So their goal is really to avoid that, which again, totally understand. That's also why they've integrated extensions and Ruby scripts into SketchUp to allow you to add extensibility to the program. Now, I will say personally, I feel like there's been a lot of development in the other programs. Blender is a great example where originally in the 2.79 and earlier versions, it was very clunky and difficult to use. And they did like a complete UI overhaul and made things make a little bit more sense and easier to use. So I think a lot of those other programs that SketchUp is at least in the same sphere with. I wouldn't say that SketchUp is trying to compete with Blender or the other way around, but I think a lot of those programs are kind of making strides in that department. So I think it's important to keep moving forward as well. And so the first thing I would like to see that doesn't really go against SketchUp's vision at all, I think it kind of works along with it, is I would like to see SketchUp release more extension packs for different uses. So for example, we've got sandbox tools that's built into SketchUp. It's basically a tool designed to let you create terrains and other things like that. I would love to see more extension packs from SketchUp like that. So officially supported, updated with the new version so they keep working. So you don't have to worry about things stopping working of a lot of those commonly used tools. So for example, if you go into like a Rhino or something like that, they have a lot of the tools like twisting tools and bending tools and other things like that that are for more advanced modeling that I don't necessarily think need to be in the base SketchUp tool set, but I think it would be a good idea for SketchUp to start releasing those new features as an extension or as extension packs. So I think that would be super valuable and I think it would give them a way to start expanding the program without necessarily overriding that simplicity that they're going for. Now, I know the case could be made that extension developers are already doing this. Totally agree, but at the same time, just because an extension developer has added a tool that's contained in a lot of other programs doesn't mean SketchUp can't roll out an officially supported version of that. The weld function is a great example, right? They just added the weld function as a native function inside of SketchUp. So I think that I think that SketchUp should be looking at shaping the direction of 3D modeling using that kind of like modular approach 
moving forward. All right, so building on top of that, I think another good thing for them to add, um, and I'm not sure what the technical limitations of something like this are, but I think it would be a good idea to try to add that extension functionality to the web version of SketchUp. So I think the web version of SketchUp came out and it's kind of a simplified version of the program, right? It's got a lot of the different parts and pieces that are in there. One of the things that was really missing from that and still is, is the ability to actually use any kind of extensions. So for example, we'll use sandbox tools again. You can't use sandbox tools inside of the web version of SketchUp. What that means is that means that you're kind of locked into that feature set and you don't really have that ability that you have with the desktop version to expand the program, which I think makes it a lot less powerful. So I think adding that to the web version of SketchUp up would be a very powerful thing. I would love to see that happen. All right, so the next one for me is kind of a maybe. I'd love to hear your opinion on this. So I think that it would be nice to have some kind of a simple integrated rendering engine inside of SketchUp. So the reason I say that is because as of right now, what you have to do with SketchUp is you have to learn how to use the program, learn to do 3D modeling, learn to do all your materials and everything else. Then you have to go find a third party rendering program um, in order to be able to create any kind of renderings that do anything complex with light and materials. And I think that just adds an additional learning curve. Now, I am not saying that SketchUp needs to go down the route of Blender with like a Cycles and um, an EV with real-time rendering and all those different things. I think having something a little bit simpler, um, maybe kind of along the lines of like what Shader Light was, or I think there was an older one called like Visualizer or something like that, but something where you just kind of have a single click and it just creates a fast, easy render, I think would be a nice tool to have. But that's one I don't know if I've thought all the way through, so I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think? I really do think that would improve at least the learning curve of the program, because if you want to create simple renders, you don't have to go outside of the, or go find a third party um, program in order to do that. All right, so I do think there are some simple modeling tools that should get integrated into the SketchUp tool set. So a great example of that is a bevel tool. So I think SketchUp should add a dedicated bevel tool to the program. Bevel is important for a lot of different reasons, but really it kind of like adds realism to your models. It also allows you to take things that look a little bit too perfect in real life, and it lets you kind of add a little bit of a curve to it, and things just look better to your eye. So what it would do is it would just take the edges and just kind of bevel them off. So you can see examples of this in like Fredo Corner or Round Corner, um, which are great extensions for this, but I would like to see it kind of added as a native function. So that does get a little bit tricky when it comes to things like push-pull, because a lot of the time if you bevel off an edge, then you've made that edge curved and you can't push-pull curved faces in SketchUp. So I would totally be open to seeing a bevel tool inside of an extension tool set that contains like a bevel, um, like a joint push-pull, kind of like Fredo has given us um, or something that allows you to push pull multiple different faces and create surfaces, that kind of thing. I'd love to see kind of a tool set for doing that. I think it would make the modeling process in SketchUp a lot better, but if you add it as an extension, you're not changing your base modeling functionality, so you get the best of both worlds. So I'd also like to see a little bit of improvement in the way that textures are mapped. So I'd love to see a tool that allows you to kind of position textures, not only on a single flat face or to project it down, but also to kind of like move the textures around on top of surfaces. So um, Blender has something like this where you just kind of unwrap it and then you can kind of like move it around and move the texture and resize it. And you can kind of adjust the way that textures are being placed on the surfaces. Now I will say UV editing itself is very complex. Um, it's kind of like its own discipline almost. So I, I think it doesn't necessarily need to be that complicated. So maybe something like through paint. Um, from Fredo, which allows you to basically, you can click on a surface and you can move it around and you can scale it. So it's more of a simplified mapping tool, but I'd like to see something that gives us a little bit more control over how textures sit on complex surfaces. All right, so next, a couple things that I would like to see improved for more of your layout style workflow. So the first thing is I would really like to see section fills that you can actually add like textures to or other things like that over your section fills. So you can add hatchings and other things at the moment moment, you've got like the straight fill option where you can basically fill section cuts in with a color, which is fine. It's helpful in some situations, but the ability to actually 
add that hatching as kind of a native thing would be really nice. So I know there's probably a little bit more complex coding involved with something like that, but right now your options are you can either do some workarounds with like watermarks or you can add those manually in layout. There, there's different ways to do it, but they all kind of feel like workarounds at the moment. I'd love to see a native way where we could take the section fills, because section fills are already in there, but just apply a texture to that. And it would just have to be something that would kind of like overlay, and then you could resize the textures in order to create hatchings in your models. I think that would be helpful for a lot of people that create different kinds of plans in SketchUp. And so next, and this is a common request that I see a lot, I would really love to sit, have the ability to add a dark mode to SketchUp. So right now, right, you're kind of limited in the fact that uh, you're, you're basically stuck with kind of like the lighter view inside of a SketchUp model, and that can really kind of increase eye strain over, uh, over long term. It would be really nice, honestly, to just be able to kind of adjust this yourself. So have the ability to adjust if things are light or dark. There are workarounds with like styles and other things if you really want to work like that, but they're not really workspace changes. They're kind of like workarounds in your model. But within like a blender or something like that, you have the ability to adjust the way that your workspace looks, right? So there's different ways. You can kind of adjust the backgrounds of all of your different viewport pieces. So if you want to go with a dark, you can do that. If you want like a print friendly version, you can do that. You can change all of these different things. So having the ability to change your workspace and kind of customize it to your situation, I think would be really helpful. All right, so next is something that I'm hoping is coming out somewhat soon. I would love to see the authoring tool for the new live components. So if you remember, the live components give you the ability to live adjust um, objects inside of SketchUp. So it's basically an improved version of dynamic components that are built on a different system. So um, this is something that was rolled out, might have been back in 2020, and uh, we have a lot of different like SketchUp Labs live components that we can download from the 3D warehouse, but so far, we don't actually have access to the authoring tool to be able to build our own. And while there are some really cool things in here um, that allow you to adjust things like door angles and other things like that, it's really only helpful if you can take this functionality and build it into the components that you actually want to use. Unless they happen to have exactly what you're looking for, in which case you're in good shape. So I would love to see this authoring tool come out and let people start creating their own live components. I'm not sure when that's going to be. Um, they've stated that they're working on it, but haven't really been specific on when that might release. So I would love to see that authoring tool go live so that we can start creating our own live components. All right, and then the last thing that I think could really be an improvement that could really kind of help SketchUp moving forward is I would love to see an improvements in the performance in the program. So um, for example, once you get in like higher geometric levels in your SketchUp models, so lots of geometry or high resolution textures, the program just kind of like slows down and you just kind of lose the ability no matter what your hardware is to work with those quickly. So um, it doesn't matter if you upgrade your computer or not, at some point there's just something built into the SketchUp system that kind of limits what it can display. Now, I don't know if that's a back-end thing. I don't know if that would require a rewrite of the entire architecture of SketchUp. Um, so, I mean, there's definitely ways that you can work around it. I've got some videos about that, which I will link to in the notes down below, but I would like to see an improvement in the amount of stuff that SketchUp could handle because for a beginner friendly program, once you start adding things from like the 3D warehouse and other things like that, there can be some really negative ramifications that new users don't necessarily understand. And I would love to see just kind of like a hardware improvement there or software improvement there that would make the program a little more forgiving from a performance standpoint. And then finally, I would really love to see improvements in the performance of layout. So um, that's probably the number one complaint or question that I get when I'm talking talking with my students is layout is running really slow and we're not really sure why. A lot of that sometimes has to do with the different rendering styles, right? The vector, raster, or hybrid. But I think a lot of people don't necessarily understand um, the ramifications of that from a performance standpoint. And also, I, I just think the way that we get things into layout is a little bit clunky. And I wonder if there's not another way to do that. I'm thinking about like paper space and AutoCAD where you can actually like switch to a space in 
inside of the program itself where it's more of like a live link. I don't know what the technical limi limitations of something like that are, but I do know that people do suffer from performance issues over inside of layout. You can switch most of your stuff to raster, but then you don't necessarily get the lines. I just wonder if there's not a better way out there for that to work. So there are definitely people out there like Nick Sonder that are making it work for them. You can use layout, but it would be nice to see some performance improvements there. So it's just a little bit faster and a little bit easier to use when you start creating those plans from your models. So for me, I think it's worth saying that I don't want SketchUp to be Blender. I don't want it to be Rhino. I don't want it to be Fusion 360. I think they have something unique going on, but I think there's also parts and pieces that they could add to make an even better experience. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think SketchUp should add? What do you? What is your vision for the program? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.